What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more World of Tanks. Now it has been oh like I, I can't hear anything. Sorry, this is a this is a bad start. Clearly this is a bad start to to World of Tanks where you guys can barely hear anything that comes out of the game, which is sad, so whatever, so I'll turn this up. Uh, yeah, welcome back to World of Tanks and today we have the honor of watching Zoro in his tier 10 Russian tank destroyer, the Object 268. Now, I'm not going to go into massive detail about this tank because I'm sure most of you already know about this tank and how, I don't know, and I, don't, I don't know, and basically, it's, it, I think this tank is actually a pretty average tank. Now, Zoro sent me this uh, via email and all that. But the reason the reason that I'm showing this replay today is because he does a lot of damage under five is it five or ten minutes? Uh, five minutes he says. Under five minutes he said. Um and I don't know why I just repeat myself there. But the object two six eight, well, what can I say about it? It's pretty average, got a nice gun, pretty mediocre armor, not the greatest but not the worst. Some pretty mediocre um mobility as well. And it has some decent, a really good penetration of 303 millimeters on its AP round, which is amazing. And its heat round is 395, and if you use its HE, that's 90, which is really good. Now, I will tell you uh, a spoiler. Well, not really a spoiler. I'll tell you something that, that he starts off in this game with heat, and he ends up on five rounds of heat so he basically doesn't use any heat rounds in this game which is why I also choose it which is really really nice now as you can see that the armor does tend to work if you can if you control it a wee bit but as you can see Zoro has already had some quite bad luck with a few early shots into him but he's put at least two shots into some enemy tanks now you will see a nice shot coming up very very soon but in the meantime, let's talk about why I chose this replay. Well, the reason I chose this replay is because I I actually do like the Object 268. I think it's actually a very good tank, and I think a lot of people underestimate this tank. And see if you get it some if you get this tank if you get like good crew skills and you get some good equipment on this tank and you train it really well, you can get some good stuff on here. Now, as you can see that. Zoro is using binoculars, so when it goes active, you can see his view range extends, and that's quite good. But you can see these shots just pumping really nicely. You've got your high roll, he's had some high rolls, he's had some low rolls, and again, the 26A is just, I think it's just a very nice tank. Very, uh, I don't know what else to say about this tank, it's just very balanced, and I think it's quite in a good state. I mean, I think that the armor could be upgraded a wee bit more, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. And three, two, one, kabam! Yeah, that's two thousand damage with a with a very very nice shot there. Well done, Z well done, Zoro. Now he does. Let me just tell you. I, let me give you a spoiler. He does more than he does more than eight thousand damage. I'll tell you that much. Which says a lot. Now, again, what also impressed me about this replay is that he did actually do it. I did. I, I wasn't. I was making sure that he did actually do. You know, the amount of damage that he did under five minutes, and he roughly did. So we're now at. I don't even know what we're at now. Just about eleven minutes into the game, and um, and he's already up to seven thousand damage, and even more with a couple of blame shots coming up. Now. Uh, to be honest, I, I, this is, by the way, Zoro is from the same clan, which is a clan I'm currently in just now. So if you guys want to join our clan, then it'll be linked in the description. Or speak to Tatich, because he is the, um, he's the captain or the, the commander of the group. Now, what I like, what I like about what Zoro does here is that he doesn't actually shoot. He waits until he can see the tracks of the object 277 and then shoot so that means you've got the damaging shot and then you hit the tracks so that means he's permanently tracked or you've probably just got a repair kit or something but it just shows that and also what i like 
what he did earlier in the replay is that he he was hiding behind the bushes, so he made the tra he made the bushes not transparent, if you know what I mean. By the way, this shot into the STRV is an actual hit. By the way, so that that is uh, that is a hit. But what I what I like he did earlier is he made the he went into the bushes and he made it not transparent, if you know what I mean. So when you drive into the bush and it's transparent that means it's like it's not really covered at all if you know what i mean but if you drive back you make it not transparent and that means you won't get spotted a nice shot into the into the shot barn by the way very nice and by the way this shot into the standard b is also a blind hit as i did watch the replay there you go and it's already 12 12 to 14 now this isn't a really about teamwork or anything, as you as you probably did see in the in the beginnings of the game. That Zor did qu write quite an aggressive text in the in the chat, so we're not really that mean. Trust me, we're we're not that mean of people. But it's only Zoro and mostly Tatic. It's mostly they're assholes. Mostly the commander and most people in our clans are assholes, including myself. So yeah. I join at your own risk. If you want to join us, then please join at your own risk. But yeah, that is Zoro in the tier 10 Russian tank destroyer, the Object 268. And again, I just, I love this tank. I generally do love this tank. I don't see there's many things wrong with it. And yes, I feel like maybe the armor could maybe be upgraded in the upper part. So maybe at the sides here. Because those are actual weak points as part of the tank and then you've got these part as lower you know the weak points and you got this part as, as a weak point as well and then you've also got the we kind of commander's port over here which is a weak point as well so there's quite a lot of weak points at this uh, at this point in the game or sorry uh, there's a lot of weak points on this tank and I feel like Wargaming should address this tank as much as they are concentrating on other tanks. I feel like they should come back to the old tanks that have been in the game a long time and relook at them and say, look, maybe this tank needs a buff. Because it certainly does, and I think this tank is awesome. And I think if it had that wee bit more of uh, armor at the, you know, at the just, oh, at the side of the, you know, at the side of the turrets over here, over, you know, these two sides, then I think this tank could be quite com uh, competitive in nowadays world of tanks but as you know wargaming has their priorities and they don't really look at the old tanks they just think they're fine and they don't do anything about it which is a shame but there we go so that is Zoro in the object 268 and let me tell you something he's done 9.3 and the game stopped at 9 minutes is that say so my camera's like blocking and I'm trying to see at the top right well for me top right hand side um, I think that says nine minutes for me, but yeah, that is Zoro the Object 268. Now let's go and look at the results and see how well he did. Okay, here we are. So as you, so as the title says over here, it says 10k damage in less than five minutes. Now he unfortunately didn't get an ace tanker, but he got a confederate, a high caliber, and a tank sniper. He got his confederate for his well, oh I. I thought you got six kill, but that's a top gun. Well, you got his high caliber definitely for his ten thousand. He he did he broke over ten thousand damage, including those blind shots, which on the STRV and on the ah what am I doing? And on the standard B. Now you got over ten thousand damage, which is like three times four times more than his team and the enemy team combined, which is really good. Unfortunately, you didn't get the highest base experience. The high the higher base experience but he got third on it so well done and also it just shows that you can just because you've taken a couple hits to the face doesn't mean you should give up instantly it shows that you can keep pushing on with a very nice amorak to the 50 tp which he kind of made the mistake of but other than that that is a really good replay and i'm surprised it wasn't an ace tanker which is a shame because to be honest i really i thought that was, could have been an ace tanker really nice and of course he made he didn't actually use our premium account for once so uh, that is 50,000 credits and even if he did have a premium account apparently it would have been the same but I don't know if that's just a bug or something um but I, I, I would expect it to be a wee bit higher if he did have a premium account but that's still very nice healthy profit considering he did not fire any rounds of premium rounds or gold ammo and is is just amazing for you know it's good to see that there are players out here 
out in tier 10 that don't always use gold. So there we go guys, that was Zoro and the Object 268. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't want to see more World of Tanks replays, then please do let me know. And also if you do have a replay for yourself, then make sure you make sure you go email me, which I'll leave my email in the description. Please not spam because I'll either just ignore it or delete it. Or if you want to put it up on the World of Tanks replay and just put and just put my name beside it, then I can know that it is for me and I can show it to you guys, the great audience. But yeah, there we go guys. I like thank you so much for watching and our support and I will see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye. Hello.